This is uh, Professor Thompson again, and I just want to add something to the 1.6 lecture. Uh, the book kind of skimmed over just a fraction trick that they use quite a bit when they talk about the epsilon delta proofs. And so I went ahead and did that too, but I, I want to talk about it anyway. So the trick here is something from pre-calc, and it's if you have positive numbers and you have this inequality, so kind of ignore the zero, that just means positive, but if you have a less than b, you can have 1 over a and 1 over b automatically have a relationship and it goes the other way. And that's a big part of what they used. And you can just think about some numbers that you know. You know that 2 is less than 4, but you also know that if you flip them, 1 half is bigger than 1 fourth. Just because now you're dividing by that bigger number. And so that's what they use, uh, for example, if you want to say that x is less than delta, then you know that 1 over x is greater than 1 over delta. So that's the kind of tricks they were using to do all those limits for 1 over x squared and 1 over x. So hopefully that's a bit more clear.